Hey everyone, it's Dina. So I have a fun little tutorial for you today. It's not super advanced, but it is something that will help you with an advanced function of the business edition software, and that is renaming your machines in the software. So that's what we're doing today. So let's get started. I am in the version 4.3 software the studio software so if you do see some differences between what what is on my screen versus what is on your screen that is the reason why also don't be alarmed about this alert here um, I just don't have a blade inserted into the Cameo 4 machine so we are on the send panel in the studio software we're going to go down into the bottom left of that panel where you see the two machine icons <clears throat> listed. The very bottom icon has the number 2 on it in red and that is just letting me know that I have two machines actively connected to my computer slash software at this time. And you can see that I'm actively connected to this Cameo machine and this technically is my Cameo 4 though you know it's, it's a little difficult to tell from from that icon. Um, <clears throat> what I want to show you today is how you can pick the correct cutter for the, the cut job that you're going to send and then how you can rename that so that you have an efficient workflow when you're working with multiple machines at, at once. So what we're going to do is go to that name of the machine where it has the green check mark and you're going to right click and the very first option in that flyout menu or the pop-out, whatever you want to call it, in this menu is called Rename Cameo and you want to click on that. And basically what that does is it opens it up so that you can type in the new name of your Cameo. And that's what we're going to do. And I'm just going to name mine Cam4 so that I can easily um, identify it, not 47, 4. And then just press enter after you've typed in the name and you're done. So that part is super, super easy. When you are sending your designs to the machine, it's very important First of all, it's very important because you have to have business edition to do this. Um, so that's one reason to upgrade if you're going to be cutting with multiple multiple machines at the same time. But this also gives you the ability to make sure that you're sending the cut job to the correct machine with the correct material on it because you could be cutting a couple of different things depending on what your workload is. So, you can see here that I've got a Cam 3 that I had already renamed in a previous instance, and then my Cam 4. And if you look to the left of those names, you can see that you have two different icons. One is connected by Bluetooth, and then my new Cam 4 is connected by the USB cable at this time. I'll probably change that to Bluetooth a little bit later, but right now this is working. Also, if you look directly to the right of that, it will tell you what version of your firmware is installed. So if you haven't updated to the 1.7 for the CAM 4, then that needs to be done, absolutely needs to be done, because it's going to help control the, um, the blades and the machine functionality. And once they start releasing those new blades for like the craft blade and the punch tool, um, you'll want to make sure that you have all that updated. Um, so that's how you can verify what version of that firmware you also have installed. All right, so that's it. So when you are ready to send your design, you'll go to the send screen, you'll set up all of your design options. Actually, what you will actually want to do is pick your machine first. So it's kind of backwards now that I actually think about that. You want to make sure you pick your, your machine first because that's going to also help you when you do your page setup panel as well as the available cut actions for these new tools and the, the Cameo 4 blade detection. So pick your machine first, then go back up to the top. So it's a little bit disjointed. Um, hopefully they are taking some suggestions from the beta testers and you know looking to re-swizzle this screen a little bit to make it a better workflow. So pick your machine, set your settings, and then send it to cut. Then you're going to go back to your design screen. If you're sending something else to another machine, go to that design tab, which I only have one right now, but you would come back to the design screen. 
make sure you have the correct design selected go back to your send screen go down to the machine icon pick the available machine set up your design um, cut settings and then send it to the machine once it's fully synced and connected um, it's a little convoluted and I'm not a fan of this disjointed workflow but it's important that you pick the machine first so that's the key here and the reason why we want to rename them so we know that we're sending to the correct place um, and that's it guys if you have any questions if you run into any issues or anything I'm more than happy to help you out feel free to drop a comment or a question in um, the comments below and I hope you enjoyed this video have a great one guys